says here, the average unmarried female, basically insecure, due to some long frustration, may react with psychosomatic symptoms difficult to endure, affecting the upper respiratory tract. Oh. In other words, just for waiting around for that plain little band of gold, a poison can develop a cold. You can spray her wherever you figure the streptococci lurk. You can give her a shot for whatever she's got, but it just won't work. When she's tired of getting a fish eye from the hotel clerk, a poison can develop a cold. It says here, the female remaining single, just in the legal sense, Shows a neurotic tendency. See note. Tendency, see note. Oh, is that a see note, Mary Baker? <laughs> see no oh, oh, see note. Oh. With chronic organic syndrome, toxic or hypertense, involving the eyes, the ears, the nose, and the throat. <clears throat> In other words, just for worrying whether the wedding is on or off, a poison can develop a cough. <coughs> you can feed her all day with the vitamin A and the bromo fizz, but the medicine never gets anywhere near where the trouble is. If she's getting a kind of a name for herself and the name ain't his, a poison can develop a cough. And furthermore, just for stalling and stalling and stalling the wedding trip, a poison can develop la grip. When they get on the train for Niagara and she can hear church bells chime, the compartment is air conditioned and the mood sublime. And then they get off at Saratoga for the 14th time. A poison can develop a grip, oh, a grip, oh, the post-nasal drip with the wheezes and the sneezes and the sinus that's really a pip from a lack of community property and the feeling she's getting too old. A poison can develop a bad 